the Cardinals can put together. The defense of DeSmith really has put a stamp on this uh, stance at the end zone. Back in the pocket, pass over to the right side. Here comes Shelton, touchdown, St. Mary Cardinals. Pass to the flat, and the first touchdown of the season will go to junior, 150-pound Jared Shelton. Let's see if Heinrichy will mix it up a little bit here. Off the left side, bouncing off one would-be tackler, headed for the end zone, down the left sideline, headed there, Josh Brown. Got himself a touchdown, his first of the season, second touchdown of the night for the Cardinals. Handoff straight up the middle, good power, touchdown. Stepping up over center, quarterback Heinrichy for the Cardinals. Drops back in the pocket, lets one fly, it's caught. First down yardage, nice reception that time from where I'm at on the far side of the football field. Heinrichy, the quarterback, man of motion, rolls to his left, passes to his right, got his receiver, going hard to the end zone, Skolton got a touchdown. Getting new replacements defensively quickly up to the center. Off the left side, pass, going to the end zone, caught, touchdown! Touchdown by the Cardinals! Touchdown by St. Mary! And the one thing that I mentioned on this broadcast was when DeSmet Iroquois took the lead for the first and only time tonight, they allowed St. Mary to get the ball back with two minutes and four seconds on the clock. And it's amazing what you can do when you have trust and belief in what your teammates can do. St. Mary comes down and a fourth down situation. Noel Hansen makes the touchdown reception, giving the lead back to St. Mary. But again, coach, a few seconds still on the clock and DeSmith showed what they are capable of doing. What a great, exciting debut of the campaign. Yeah, it was exciting, I guess. Uh, more exciting than I would have liked to have had it been, but it was it was good. <laughs> Coach, let's talk a little bit about this team as a whole uh, with some of the practices during the month of August leading up to this game. Short in numbers, youth is, is basically your strong point. Ninth and tenth graders, a few juniors, but, but you are lacking experience and depth. But this team played like they've been out there a long time. Oh, I, I tell you, they, they played their hearts out. Um, you know, I don't know. I think I'm a little, I think if uh, they had been more experienced, they might have given up at the end after we, we got, uh, you know, after we got scored on and then we got that touchdown call back and everything else. I think they might have been so young, they didn't realize what happened and just wanted to play again. So, so uh, it might have worked in our favor. You got some a, a tandem of running backs that have speed and quickness. They're elusive. You got a good quarterback that just basically he was a general out there tonight for you he ran the show through the air and on the ground yeah Wes I, I tell you he had uh, he had ice water in his veins tonight it was uh, it was amazing I, I will I will say that <laughs> we talked a little bit about some of the running backs the quarterback the offensive uh, uh, strength that you have on that game but so much of it gets overlooked and I don't want to overlook the play on the offensive and defensive line of scrimmage your big boys did a great job you know they did uh you know we lost alec hansen our our, our one of our seniors uh second day of practice and and we were real worried but yeah these young guys they they stepped up and they they got after it well congratulations on this win uh what do you know about your next opponent on the road you know they'll be one of our tougher opponents they're always a very good team they always have some athletes and they can always slow the ball so we're going to work on our pass defense this week all right, Coach, congratulations on this one. Two weeks from tonight, we'll be here when you got Old Ham Ramona. We look forward to that one as well.